in Moscow. Peter Zalmayev is the director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative. He joins us now from New York. Welcome uh, to the program. Now, Russia vetoing uh, the UN resolution condemning the Crimea referendum as expected, while Russia's ally, China, abstained. Has Russia further isolated itself? Well, this is certainly a very, very important uh, move on the part of the international community to uh, let Russia know that it stands completely alone in its uh, adventure in Ukraine. It was expected, of course, that Russia would veto uh, this resolution, but uh, it is a very important signal. And I think up next will be a vote at the UN uh, General Assembly that will further embarrass the government in Moscow. But does Russia care that it's on its own as far as Ukraine goes? Uh, I think Putin went into this uh, very cognizant of the potential uh, diplomatic uh, 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 backlash that he would suffer. So I think he was willing to roll with the punches. And I don't think that, in, at least in the short run, uh, these actions will deter him. Now, international condemnation or not, that referendum is going ahead. What happens if Crimea does vote to join Russia? Well, uh, it is difficult to say now. There are precedents. There's the trans Republic, the so-called trans Republic, that is a breakaway territory uh, that used to belong to Moldova, that several years ago voted uh, in a similar referendum to be annexed to Russia, and it remains in legal limbo. So uh, uh, the, whatever the outcome in the referendum, uh, I think that Crimea will uh, continue uh, to be a, um, a destabilizing factor for the government uh, of Ukraine. Now, we're hearing about asset freezes and visa bans and certain individuals, and that's what the U.S. is talking about as far as possible sanctions go. Is that all they're going to do? And uh, that's not going to do much to stop Russia, is it? Well, there are, there are different schools of, think, of thought on this uh, subject. The, th uh, the, you know, the thinking behind these smart sanctions, the asset freezes and the visa bans, is that the elites, the Russian oligarchs, will eventually turn on Putin uh, once they begin to suffer this sort of, uh, uh, this sort of um, isolation. Uh, and uh, there's another school of thought that believes that, in fact, Putin uh, would welcome those sort of sanctions because they would, in, in fact, induce his leads to repatriate their financial assets and sort of to uh, that would allow him to firm up support eternally internally do you think it's inevitable that things will escalate in ukraine uh, things, uh, things so far, the, uh, so far, uh, what, what we're seeing the situation escalating further and further. Just today, we heard that there's been a, uh, a drop of 80 uh, uh, soldiers that, who arrived in helicopters right outside of the territory of Crimea to occupy a gas terminal. So, uh, so far, uh, all the signs are pointing to a further escalation of the conflict. All right, Peter, thanks very much uh, for giving us your thoughts on this. Peter Zalmayev is the director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative.